1.7 million were there for his birth. 220 countries tuned in for his first step. The world stood still for that stolen kiss. And as he grew, so did technology. An entire human life recorded on an intricate network of hidden cameras and broadcast live and unedited 24 hours a day. Log. It's a word I learned just last year, and if you haven't heard it before, this is how Urban Dictionary defines it. And this is how Urban Dictionary defines daily vlogger. And there's actually a lot of really popular daily vloggers out there. And somehow they can deal with it, they can live with themselves, right? And here we have the wild Jessica and her parents. Every new year brings about change. I dropped out of college. Yes, I'm starting a proper daily vlog. I'm psyched. For a while there, I liked the idea so much that I started making my own vlogs and uploading them on YouTube. Which was fun till I realized how much work it took. Now, it's 2017 and social media is everywhere, but for a second, let's just go back to the 90s before any of this ever happened. The Truman Show is an American film that came out in 1998. The first 10 minutes are devoted to explaining just how the Truman universe works. Truman is just an ordinary guy who was chosen to live out his life in a controlled environment and have it serve as fodder for a television show. The Truman Show is devoted to the ordinary, the mundane, the everyday and for all Truman knows, he's ordinary as well. Except he's not. He's the most watched man on the planet. But the thing is, he has no clue that millions of people tune in to watch him drive to work every single day. The rest of the movie is about Truman coming to the realization that nobody in his life is who they say they are and it's all a setup. A lot of critics have compared the Truman Show to reality television. But here's my take on this. The Truman Show is the precursor to daily vlogs. Let me explain by counting down the similarities between the Truman Show and daily vlogging. Now, it's no secret that reality shows thrive on conflict. I'm not sharing, bitch. Where are my Doritos? Nice money thrown out freaking window. Now, this is the stuff you see in daily vlogs. Noah's super good at front flips. In fact, I cannot do a front flip. I can only do back flips. He can only do front flips, not back flips. So I'm gonna try to spot him and teach him. Head back, knees up. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> On a rainy, gross Sunday, New York City is completely empty. Kenneth, do you think two skateboards is gonna be enough for you and Francine, or should I get you a third from the office? Most of these vlogs completely edit out any conflict that the vlogger faces during his or her day. And the Truman Show does something very similar. It can't edit out Truman's life because it's a 24-7 show. But every time Truman begins to introduce conflict in his own life or making a big change... Fiji. <laughs> Where the hell is Fiji? Where have you been? Every time you and Marlon get together, we can bum around the world for a year on that. And then what, Truman? We'd be where we were five years ago. The producers and actors change the narrative, so he'll go on with just being average, I guess. We've become bored with watching actors give us phony emotions. We're tired of pyrotechnics and special effects. While the world he inhabits is, in some respects, counterfeit. There's nothing fake about Truman himself. This clip gives us an insight to what exactly prompted the producers to start a show like The Truman Show, which is essentially just about regular life. And if you look at the stats and the view counts and the comment section, you'll see that he was really onto something. But perhaps the most disturbing prediction made by The Truman Show was that even if we reach a point where the audience is thrilled by slice of life kind of reality, a life spent in front of a camera can never be real.
I would be lying if I didn't say that YouTube and daily vlogging or almost daily vlogging was a big reason why we grew apart. I am warning anyone, any couple who has ever thought about picking up a camera and filming your days every single day, do not do it. It's not clickbait. I really am ending the vlog. You guys, I want to take a year off the internet. Okay, hold on. I need to take a year off the internet. I don't... I don't, I don't know how I'm going to keep doing the vlog, so... It's just not worth it. I show the positivity and awesomeness of our vlogs, and we don't show a lot of the hardships of our vlogs. And we try not to. And... So everybody thinks everything's perfect, Everybody ha that we have a perfect life, and it's really not at all what people sometimes think. Maybe not being watched is an essential component of being real. It's how we lived our lives before the digital age, which means that humanity spent thousands of years without clicking pictures of its food. Maybe to be real, you need to escape the watchful eye of those who want to know you without ever meeting you. And like Truman, we all eventually just want to embrace what we might spend years selling. Reality. Say something, goddammit! You're on television! You're live to the whole world! In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.